Hello my YouTube fans. Uh, what we're doing today is we're gonna make some pegs. You know, I don't know about you, but I'm just fed up of putting washing out on the line. Yes, I do put washing out on the line, otherwise uh, I wouldn't be a capable husband, would I? Um, and the plastic pegs that we get from the cheap shops and what have you just go twang and they're no good whatsoever. So what I thought we could do with is some nice wooden ones that they used to use uh, in as grandmother's time period. So here we are today, we're out in the woods. Casey's with me today. Hi. Hang on, I ain't got him in yet. There he is. Hi. So yeah, Casey and myself are gonna go collect some wood today. So what we're after typically is some hazel. Um, it's a nice flexible piece of wood and it's something that coppices as well. Copper, copper, coppices well. So if you do go on some woodland or whatever, you know, some farmer's gonna let you go on. Just make sure that you've got permission because you can't just cut anything down. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna go look for some nice sized pieces to cut down um, and it ain't gonna affect the rest of the woodland. So right, yeah. Let's uh, let's go find some pieces, shall we? Yeah. Right, so we found a typical tree, well coppiced and what have you. Casey's got a branch there and he's gonna start cutting it. A nice long straight one. Ow! That's it. And when he pulls that out, yeah, just give me that. I'll hold that while you pull that out. So I've been the cameraman today, and Casey's been the uh, labourer. Well, that's quite quite high up, is that one? All right, well done. So yeah, there's some nice pieces on this. Um, so what we do now is... Can you pick that up, Casey? Oh, with my hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's a, bit, it's a bit too thin after about here, I think. So we'll cut it off there. And then we'll see what we've got. But here's a nice long straight piece there. So right, we'll just prep this. So what I'm doing is, I forgot my knife, so I'll just have to use this. Trim, trim the <laughs> leaves off, not trim them off. Trim them. Now that's something that's well coppiced. But I don't want to cut loads of limbs off. I want, you know, just a, just a few that I've got completely dead straight, long sections. But that's what you get them from. Yeah, about an inch wide. Okay. And there's a nice typical straight limb. Quite good. So what I'm after is this one. That's just right, is that it's dead straight. And if you cut it down at the bottom, there's no damage because it'll just coppice again. That's the beauty of it. Fantastic thing is wood. I'll just get this. Yeah, so I just paused somewhere now. I wanna uh, get these cut to size rather than carrying them all about. So I'll cut them down into about six inch sections with the saw and then put them in a bag and keep them cool and moist. You can put them in your fridge or your freezer while you get round to doing it and that way they'll always stay uh, workable. That's what I find easiest anyway. So right, get these sorted. And there we have it. That's what we're going to take back home now and turn into pegs. I don't know whether I'll get, get it sorted yet, maybe in a few days' time. But as I say, I'm going to put them in a plastic bag. That way it keeps them fresh, bottom of fridge, and um, they'll just peel and work with lovely. That's some branches, look. You just trim them off 
and then you've got your peg size and shape so there we are this is the outdoor bit I mean making the um, peg itself is outside I'm going to do that in the garden so we'll do that on another day and I'll bring you with me and we can make some pegs great fun honest have a go at it really relaxing glad you could join me back on this part of the channel we've been out and we've been in Sawster's wood now for the pegs what, what have we got now that we need well need some beer cans that's a spoon to start I haven't finished that and then you want some knives pins scissors and that's it for that and of course <coughs> The section of wood pegs that we got cut down into sections. There's some thick ones, there's some thin ones, but I don't know, it just depends what you're putting out. Yeah, that's, that's good for a big thick pair of jeans. So the first job really is I put them cans to one side. They're not full by the way, they're empty. So what we do first, there's going to be a lot of these, we should have some on the floor really to collect the things. But first of all we need to peel them. I think I'll have to get right in on this, hang on a minute. Whittling them away. Getting rid of all your bark. These have been stored in the fridge in a plastic bag at the top just to keep them moist till you want to or can get round to doing them. This is my little bushcraft corner of the garden where I can sit and relax and just chill out. Listen to the birds and of course the traffic. Sorry about that if I'm a little bit low. So, whittled all the excess off. And then what you need to do is just cut a little edge off, making it nice and neat. I'm just carving it up and down just gently, just to take the end off. I should have a little wood block for here, but I ain't got round to it. So what we do is Cut the top off the beer can. Not really straight. You find with a pair of scissors it will cut quite easily. Table tennis ball free inside. Dogs normally like them. So cut it down the middle. And these are strips that's going to go on top of your peg.
Be careful of the sharp edges. enough to be able to fold this into so that now with a point which is the most pointed goes into that split okay it's held in there and then you hold it with your thumb nice and tight and then you wrap it round and because we've dug it into the end of the peg hopefully it shouldn't unwrap. <coughs> now you could do with a really sharp nail, like a dowel pincher, but your knife could do it. And then what you do is poke a little hole, if you're just using your knife just do it like a little cross. Pin, put it in position and then you want your little hammer I did have a smaller one than this but I've left it somewhere now then so <clears throat> that's your stop Now what you do is, with your knife, I bought this one especially because it's only got a small blade on it and it's easier for turning round in here. Um, <coughs> I do have another one for scraping other things off, but 
I found this knife I did like, which, what's this one called? Uh, Holter Falls, only cost me about 10, 10 quid I think it was. So I find that absolutely brilliant for this. That's what I bought it for purposefully. Right, your pin is going down that way. So what happens now, if you split this peg that way, it would just bite into where you've put your pin and it'd just split. It'd be useless. So what you need to do is turn it 90 degrees. Now your pin's going that way. So then you want to be cutting a split down here. So hold your peg. Get a good grip. Look for the middle. You can hear it crack straight away. You can see it splitting. And then what you do is take that out. And you want to put your knife back in about inch and a quarter up, so give it a slight twist of and pull it up. This is where your peg is going to clip over the washing, it just gives it a start. let your grandma's old pegs <clears throat> and you can see the gap that you've left and that'll go straight over the washing line now and open up and then tidy this area up make it look a bit more feng shui round it off Messing with wood really is relaxing, especially if you've just cut it straight off a tree, you know, and it's green wood. And you just whittle to the shape you want. If it makes you happy, just whittle away. And that's it. But when you're pulling the knife to get your little edge, make sure you've got a good grip of your peg as you pull it up. So, there is your... Can you see that? <laughs> they say they're really fun to make and you can pass an afternoon doing these. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And you too can make some pegs. Get rid of these rubbish Chinese ones. Right, I'm going to carry on now. got a lot of washing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe, because you never know what's going to be on this channel. See you again, bye. Don't forget, subscribe.